So anyways guys, welcome to the Life of Moose YouTube gaming setup, man. Let me show you what I got going on. Yeah, so we just purchased an electric go-kart. It goes like 20 miles per hour, and it's a drift go-kart. So let me show you, Lucy. This is a computer gaming setup right over here. Look at this. That right there. That, that glowing thing. Computer. Yo, what's up, Lucy? How you doing, girl? How you doing? How you doing, baby girl? She's like, Ooh. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Life Most YouTube channel. I have a whole, is this, is, what is this considered? I don't, I don't know, it's coffee. Yeah, this is, this is what, this is what powers the videos. I'm just kidding, that's really bad for you. So anyways, guys, today we're doing a little bit of a different style of video. So I'm gonna be showing you my gaming setup that I actually have. So if you guys don't know, I do have a bunch of, uh, bunch of gaming channels. I have a Minecraft channel, Roblox channel, all that kind of good stuff. Down below in the description, you can go check it out. And I have this insane gaming setup, including also like a vlogging setup too. So I'm gonna show you guys the entire setup that I have Everything I have, I'll, show, I'll tell you guys like the specs. I'll also link them down below in the description. And maybe if you guys do want to buy it and use it for your setup, for your gaming setup, or your vlogging setup, or anything like that, you can do the same thing. So, anyways, before we do, oh, what was that? Something just fell. Hello? Oh, what is that? Oh, how'd that fall? Lucy? <sighs> Lucy, was it you? L Lucy? Where's Lucy go? Was Lucy? Oh snap! Up at the barber shop right over here, man. Check this out. And I got a haircut. It looks, it looks pretty good, man. It looks pretty good. Usually, what I do with my haircut is I get like this detailed line you can't really see right here, uh, like a thicker line. But right now, I think it's pretty solid. All right, so I have to head back home and show off the setup, bruh. So bright, bro. So, anyways, guys, welcome to the Life of Moose YouTube gaming setup, man. Let me show you what I got going on. So, pretty much, guys, if you do know, I have other YouTube gaming channels. I have Moosecraft, Moose Plays, Moose Mods, Moose Roll Plays, Moose Blocks, and a ton more YouTube channels. And this is the current gaming setup that I also use. And it's the same gaming setup that I, well, not the same gaming setup, but the same setup that I use for other things that I do. For example, building up companies, working with other companies, and so on. So, anyways, guys, now this video is not just going to be about the gaming setup, but I'm going to also show you how. I handle certain situations and how I can also like give you tips of growing your YouTube channels and then just doing a lot of other things or growing your business and that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's get right into the video and let me show you guys what I got going on over here. So now, this is the beautiful view that I see every single morning. So I'm recording some Minecraft videos or some other types of videos over here. I see this beautiful view every single morning and I always have the blinds open so when I'm recording a video, the natural light is on point. So this is the camera, camera that I'm using is a GH5 over here. Very, very nice camera. Now, if you guys are looking to upgrade to a professional camera for face cams, I highly recommend the GH5 for pretty much any use. So face cam, pictures, and including uh, videos for like, you know, vlogs and kind of stuff. Um, if you want a DSLR, but anyways, I actually have two of these things. So we have one here for the face cam, and then one for the really high quality videos over here with a microphone. That's a, that's a uh, sure microphone? Awesome, so anyways, let me write down what's going on. This place, it's a lot, let me tell you. There's a lot here. There's a, there's a ton of ton of things. So, anyways, let's get right into this. If you look over there, by the way, this is actually where my bedroom is, and then this is the porch. That's the entrance, and this is the current gaming setup that I have. Now, there is a little bit of echo in this setup because I mean, there's no soundproofing anywhere at all. But you don't really hear with the specific microphone that I have. So, what I'm running here is we got this crazy 
I forgot what the stand is called, but it's it's a, I'll just link it down below in the description. It's a road stand, okay? It's a very popular one, everyone uses it pretty much. And then it's connected to an XLR cable going to my Shure SM7B microphone. And this microphone, it's a, I think it's a dynamic flat microphone or something like that. And it's a very, very good microphone. Extremely, extremely high quality. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but you have all the settings here, and what happens is, so this cable right here is an XLR cable. Now this goes all the way around over here, goes down, and it connects into a cloud lifter. To simplify it, because you know it's pretty confusing, it gives you better gain, it gives you like clear gain. Now this is a mixer, this gets even more complex, so that small microphone, and that mic stand is connected all the way to this cloud lifter, and this mixer. So, like I said, man, this is gonna be an informational video. It's a lot to take in, but this is what happens when you got a crazy, like, YouTube gaming setup for all the things and such. But anyways, this is the crazy microphone. It's a Behringer uh, X1204 USB. Pretty much, let me simplify it. All these buttons you see, you don't need it. All you really need, let me show you guys. All you really need, by the way, is this specific section over here. So, now with the cloud lifter, like I said, you have clear gain. So you have 20 decibels of clear gain. This just makes your microphone pretty much louder and sound more clear. Then you have your highs, mids, and lows to make your voice sound different. Comp is just pretty much like, uh, let's say you scream, it actually prevents you from peaking. So that's how I'm always screaming. You know, you look when I'm always screaming in videos and stuff and you, you kind of like hear like a muffle a little bit. That's pretty much what it is. It just prevents me from peaking and breaking my microphone. Sort of like that or breaking your ear. <laughs> okay, and then on top of this, this is some more volume adjustments. Same with this and this and that. But that's how it is. You know, this is best to watch a different video on how to get this crazy XLR microphone setups. But anyways, moving forward to the other things, man. Now, with every single setup, I highly recommend having a battery backup generator thing. So this is a cyber power generator. I think it gets up to like a thousand, 1,325. So pretty much, let's say my power goes out. Now it's got a surge protector and also the generator built inside of it. So for example, let's say lightning strikes my house or something. I'll be good. And as soon as my power goes off, it's gonna actually stay on and power all my computer setup so it won't fry anything. Now, when you just kind of plug it into the wall, let's say you're plugging your computer into the wall, and something bad happens, your power goes out, you could lose data on your computer which will corrupt your stuff. So you don't want it to happen, you can't have any risks, and this prevents all risks possible. Now, the lighting setup. The lighting setup for my microphone, I'm not on my microphone, the lighting setup for my camera it's pretty complex, you don't need this stuff, let me tell you. So all of these crazy lighting setups, you don't need it. When I started YouTube, I just pretty much spent like 50 bucks on just very, very simple lighting. So you don't need, you don't need anything crazy. All you simply need is, let's say, um, soft lights. So this is more complex, but I had a very simple version of just like one light with an umbrella. I would have one on this side, I would have one on this side, and then like a cheap uh, ring light over here with a, um, with a diffuser so you don't get blinded. So. That's what, I, that's what it was before, now it's more complex, and it's a very expensive light, I think it's like over 300 bucks. But it's a ring light, you can customize it, and these lights are not only for, let's say, face cams, you can actually change a lot of cool things on them. So for example, you can make them brighter, same with the ring light, you can also change what kind of color it's gonna be. So it's gonna be orange or white, same for here, orange or white. So that, that's how it works, man. And pretty much, in a sense, with these lights, it's more used for like studio stuff. Let's say you want some more natural light, you can actually make this be orange, and so on. But anyways, moving on to the camera. Like I explained before, it's a GH5 camera. It is very expensive, but here's what I have set up over here. Now, the way I use this for face cam, it's pretty simple. I actually record this all in the same OBS file. Now, my recording software is OBS Studio, uh, but it's very simple. So you got your camera. I have this one HDMI plug that plugs all the way down over here and connects to that. So let me show you for example. Let's go all the way over to this crazy thing, man. Look at this dude. That's a really fancy looking camera. So this HDMI plug just goes all the way down, all right? And it leads to this capture card. It's a USB capture HDMI card. It's very simple. It's called a Magwell capture card. I'll link it down below in the description. So that's actually how I'm able to use my DSLR, any type of DSLR with my face cam. So pretty much HDMI into the camera, goes into here, goes into the USB and connects into the computer. Very simple setup. And then all I gotta do is turn it on and boom, you're all good to go. Now you're probably wondering, Moose, how do you always have this thing running? So I have a battery extension thing. So it's an actual battery thing and it has a wire that just simply, well, it plugs into the wall. As you can see, it goes here and then it plugs into this generator and that's about it. So very, very simple. Now, if you have other types of cameras, it's always gonna be different. So when I had the Canon 80D, that was actually one of my first DSLR 
uh, cameras, it wasn't the best. You know, the, the focus was pretty good, but the quality was not the best. And overall, it was just, it was a pain. So I was like, you know what? Just, it's better to spend the extra dollars and get the GH5 and never have to worry about replacing a camera. You know what I mean? That's, that's the best way to go about it. And that's the same exact thing for, let's say, having a point and shoot vlogging camera. So I don't think I have it on me, but before I had, I think it was the G7X Mark II. And it's a great camera, don't get me wrong. The focus is terrible. The, the, the light, like at nighttime, is very, very bad. So I wouldn't recommend it. I couldn't save the camera, so I got rid of it and I bought the Sony RX100 V2, which is currently what I'm using. And as you can tell, it's very, very clear, uh, clear quality pictures. Audio is pretty decent. And on top of that, I mean, the focus, bro, look at the focus. It's just pretty much instant. What well, we want the focus, look at that. It's instant. And the GH, uh, GH, uh, not the G7, the uh, G7X always lacked focusing, which is extremely important for vlogging because you want to be straight to the point and you want to show off. Well, let's say like you're pointing to something, you want to be able to show the image instantly. So for example, water bottle, instant. This thing, that thing, boom, that thing, my finger, my hand, oh, the view. That's what I'm saying, man. You gotta be straight to the point with that kind of stuff. You're probably wondering, Moose, what is that thing? What? What even is that? I know, it looks like a spaceship and all, but this is my current chair. It's a very expensive chair, but when you're all, let me, let me, let me explain something. So when you're sitting at your desk for about more than even four to eight hours a day, you need a really, really good chair. And I know a lot of people are like, man, I don't gotta spend so much money on my chair. But the thing with me is I have, I have back problems. I have back problems and I really do need a very comfortable chair. And this specific chair, I think it's Herman Miller and body chair is perfect because the way it works, it like morphs into your back and stuff. You can adjust it. It's really crazy. And look underneath this chair, man. It's, it's, it's really, really crazy over here. Check this out. You have these weird things over here. So overall, it's an extremely comfy chair. And when you're sitting on the chair for eight hours, you kind of feel like you're sitting on a cloud. So before I had about, I think it was like five DX racers. I kept changing them. I just kept constantly keep changing them out. And the problem with DX racers are, and those kind of chairs for me, whenever I'm sitting for longer than four hours, my back starts to cramp hardcore and then I get back pains. I'm an old man, I'm an old man. But anyways, like I was saying, so I get back, back pains and stuff. Now there's other options, obviously. You don't have to spend this like thousands of dollars for the share, but there's other options. This is what I currently use. I recommend it. The setup, the setup, the setup, the setup. I can't really explain the desk. Before I did use, actually Ariel has a really nice desk. He has those up desks. Now I have a desk that's just built into the wall because that's that's what the apartment came with. So that's kind of what it is, man. Anyways, let me show you the other things. This is where my amiibos are at my YouTube subscriber uh, subscriber thing, okay? My racing helmet, also my globe, my car is, oh snap. Yo, it's actually Ariel's car. I did used to own this car before. And then a Skyline GTR, Lamborghini Huracan, and then a bunch of business books that I highly recommend reading if you're into reading books and stuff. Extremely informational books will really help you get the whole business mindset and also just, I mean, just a mindset for personal development, other things as well. Just these books, for example, this is what I read. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me thinking always, and it keeps me improving on a daily basis. So that's, this is all the books that I read. I'm just going to kind of like show you guys. Look at this. You can, you can pause the video if you want the books and such, but tons and tons of books all around, man. And of course, the Zelda guidebook and the Pokemon guidebook. Knowledge. Equals Lamborghinis. All right. So moving forward to over here, my traveling setup. This is key. So this is my iPad. It's got the uh, the LTE thing, so you can pretty much travel and stuff. iPad is key. Well, you don't really need an iPad. You can use anything you want, but I use an iPad. So whenever we travel, we keep a bunch of things here. We keep things organized and we have data, so we're always on the go. So for example, emails and that kind of stuff, we check all on the iPad. Now this is my backup MacBook. So it's actually for the uh, brand new MacBook Pros. These things are overpriced. <laughs> they are overpriced, but they're extremely nice. They're, they're very small. The battery is amazing. You got this cool little thing. I kind of bought it just for this thing. It was really dope. I liked it, man. Uh, but this is what I use for traveling. And this is where I take my Minecraft screenshots on. So whenever I'm making thumbnails, I use this for screenshots. I use this for emails. I use this for business and other cool things, including scheduling and so on. Beforehand, I have the Razer Stealth Book, which I do recommend over this MacBook. It's cheaper and it's more powerful. I still do have it. I think it's like somewhere over there. I switched to Mac just because their software is just so much more clean. That's, that's my opinion. It's very clean and I like how like the user interface is. Anyways, now this thing is actually pretty dope too. So these are like the Bluetooth clocks. And with these Bluetooth clocks, you have timers, you can do a lot of cool things and have applications. There's Jeff, hi Jeff, what's up buddy? So you can have applications, for example, you can also have your Twitter followers here, including your YouTube followers, like the subscribers and stuff. So for example, I can have a real time feed of Moosecraft or Life of Moose 
uh, subscriber count. So it's pretty dope. And this is my Lamborghini grenade. If I pull this thing, the house is, I'm just kidding. It's not actually a real grenade. It's, uh, <laughs> it's I think, number seven out of 50. It's like a replica grenade for Lamborghini. It's pretty cool. And then we got Frogs at Speakable Gaming. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Wireless charging, charging for the camera, for the G, not the G7X, um, the Sony RX100, and the computer. Let me run you down. This thing is absolutely crazy. Oh my God. This gets super expensive, all right? And I'm gonna give you my opinions about computers as a YouTuber. Now, these are my extra phones that I have uh, for business and stuff. Then we have this iPad, which I can control my whole system here. I got um, audio, video, climates. This is how I kind of mess with Ariel. And look at Ariel right wearing now. His room is 76. It's the kitchen. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna make it super cold for him, alright? We're just gonna mess with Ariel a little bit. And my room, it's gotta be strictly 70 or 69 or 68. I gotta I gotta have my place cold when I'm cooking up some fire, making some Minecraft videos, alright? And that's where I keep all my notes in. Notes are key. As a YouTuber, I think it's extremely important to set your goals, you know, write down your purpose, your affirmations, your vision, all that kind of stuff, and read them every single day. It's it's extremely kiss what I do. That's what Nathan does, that's what everyone in my group does. And I think that's that's extremely important. Like for example, even like reading these books, they they, help, they do help you out a lot. It gets you thinking. Because realistically, the way that I see it, I don't know everything. You know, I'm not. I don't know anything at all. Honestly, that's how I see it. So so I'm always trying to find ways to learn more, improve, and it, it helps out. You know, it helps out with everything, man. It helps out with life. Helps out with business. Helps out with strategy. Helps out with organization. Tons and tons of things. Now, if you guys do want to, do you want me to make a video on how I stay motivated and and what I personally do and how I motivate my team? I could do that. That could be a video, you know, later on. Hashtag Moose Motivation. So I don't want to get too into it, but that's just kind of my perspective about you know reading books, being organized, and so on. It's, it's extremely key to doing anything because the, the way I see it is, to anything you do, you gotta be consistent. You gotta have a purpose. You gotta have goals. You gotta be dedicated. And you just gotta keep on doing it. And self-motivation is key when it comes down to things. Cause let's say you're in an environment where everyone's negative to you. You know, the way I see it is 90% of people that you surround yourself with, you're gonna become just like them. So if you're in a negative environment, so when I was living in well, North East Philadelphia and it was a very negative environment, I would be around with a lot of negative people and that would drastically impact me, my workflow, and overall my team and also my mood. That would also impact other people that work for me and that I work with. So it's extremely important to always stay positive. That's how I see it. Always stay positive and just make sure you're controlling your environment and you're kind of controlling like your mindset in a way. It sounds a little bit crazy and all, but like I said, if you want me to give my opinions on how I stay motivated and, motivated and such, let me know down below in the comment section or leave a like on this video and if we get 20,000 likes, I'll make a video about that kind of stuff. And I, it's gonna be drastically informational for you. It'll give you some ideas on how I uh, always stay constantly going on YouTube and other things, and also innovating in business, going with the team, team is key. Team is team is key in everything. And I'm talking about YouTube, I'm talking about any business, anything you do, team is extremely, extremely key, man. So look at, like, look, look at us, for example, uh, the squad. Team is key. Me, Nathan, and Shark are extremely, extremely close friends. And not just on YouTube, but everything. We're outside of YouTube. Everything that we do, we're always constantly talking to each other. We're innovating. We're always thinking of ways to improve and so on. So having a team that's positive and helping you grow every single day, that is key to life. That's how I see it. So like when, when, let's say, for example, 20 years from now, you know, I'm 40 years old or something. Now, the experience that I would have with my team every single day growing what we do right now and just improving a life is always gonna be there. That's gonna be memories. I'm just gonna stick, and then when we're, when we're four years old, and we're just kinda chilling, and like, let's say, a nice car or something, and we're just relaxing at dinner or at a, or at a house, we'll be like, man, this 20 year journey has been absolutely amazing. You know, we've achieved so much. It's been a great experience. We help a lot of people out. We create a lot of value, and we built up some really big things. So that's how I see it. Experience, team, key, man. All right, so. Moving forward to the computer setup. Well, actually, I guess while I'm here, let me show you guys the monitors. The monitors, the monitors. I feel like monitors in a gaming setup is still very important. I, it really depends on the person, honestly, but I have a triple gaming monitor setup. Now these are the brand new Asus, I think they're ROG Swift, 24 inch, 244 hertz. Now a lot of people say like, oh, well, you know, the human eye can't see past 60 hertz, but let me tell you, when you have a 244 hertz monitor and you're playing a game, um, it's gonna look a lot more smooth. I'll tell you that, it's gonna look a lot more smooth and you're gonna be able to actually perform in the game a lot better, depending on the person you are. I, I actually perform a lot better with these monitors, just things are just so much more smooth that I can pay attention and so on. So, Asus ROG Swift monitors, 24 inches, brand new. Now, the one that Ariel has is actually 27 inches and I'll show you, but this is the 244 hertz monitors. 
Very nice, extremely, not actually extremely expensive. They're about like, I think, more than 400 bucks each. But like I said, for a setup, if it's gonna help you become more productive, and it's gonna grow your company and grow what you're doing or, or grow anything at all, definitely have very nice monitors. Even if, if that includes curve monitors, like I said, it's still a very important part of a setup. A lot of people do ask me about this clip. This is a man Froto? I don't, I don't know what it's called actually. Uh, it doesn't show any branding, but this clamp is what I use for my camera. Very powerful, it's not gonna fall. Cause I know it looks really sketchy right now. It looks like it's gonna fall, but it's not. This clamp is super powerful, super sturdy, and it holds up the camera just fine. So anyways, moving forward, man. The computer gaming setup. Let's turn this bad boy on. Oh man, it's alive! Look at this thing! Wiring, not my specialty. I'll tell you that, it's it's bad. I know, I know, Moose, what is this man? It looks disgusting, there's wires everywhere and stuff. I'm not that organized. I'm sort of organized, but not that organized. I don't have time to do the wiring, I don't know, man. I'm not the best with this kind of stuff, like decorating and that, and that kind of things. Not the best, especially not with wiring. So, yeah, I'm gonna need someone to help me out later on with this. <laughs> it's a mess, there's so many wires, bro. The computer, man, the computer. We have about, I think, six computers, maybe maybe less, I'm not sure. Uh, we have a ton of computers in this house. And computers, the way I see this, let's say you're a brand new gaming YouTuber. So if you're a brand new gaming YouTuber and you're playing Minecraft, you don't need a crazy computer. You know, your, your budget for a computer can be anywhere from 600 bucks up to, I mean, you can go up to $1,500. Now, if you're editing and rendering, you do need a powerful computer. You need a very powerful processor, including a graphics card, RAM, other things. So this one is fully maxed out. It's not the best, but it's very, very maxed out computer. So I have a very simple processor because I'm not doing editing and rendering. So I just have a four core processor. It's good for gaming and it's pretty efficient. Now, when you want a rendering computer, you want to have more than four cores. For example, eight, 10, 12. Pretty sure it goes higher than that. <laughs> yeah, but this is the gaming setup over here. So we have a GTX uh, 1080 Ti water-cooled graphics card. So one thing with computers is, I, I deeply believe, is, is if you're in a room, you gotta make sure that you have a really good AC. Cause me specifically, whenever it's hot in my room, I can't perform. Like I can't make videos, I get sweaty, I get super tired, and I get exhausted, and I can't talk, cause I do talk very, very fast. So I get overwhelmed, and then I get super tired, and then the energy of the video just drops down. So I gotta make sure that my room is gonna be super cold, and there's not gonna be a lot of like a lot of loud noises. So that's why I have a water-cooled graphics card. So the fans are not always blowing, they're not always annoying me, they're not giving me a headache. So it's water cool, it's very efficient. Same with the water cooling system over here. You can't really see that. Well, I could actually remove this, but it's gonna be a pain. So I have a water cooling system over here. It's actually not water cooling, but it's liquid cooling. It goes all the way around, connects to the top, that's the radiators and the fans. So the hot air goes from the bottom up to the top and then it lets out from here, so the vents. And I also have vents in the front. So with the gaming computer, let me simplify it. Liquid cooling graphics card, liquid cooling processor, and a ton of fans that are quiet is key. Especially for YouTube, because you don't want your microphone picking up computer noises. So that's how it is. No one wants to hear like, hey, what's up guys, my company is here. No one wants to hear, oh, hey, what are you doing? What you doing here? You want to see me make a Minecraft gaming setup? I mean, the, the computer gaming, uh, you're just gonna ignore me, aren't you? Oh, oh, you're too cool for this, right? Okay, I see how it is, Lucy. You're too cool for this technology stuff because I'm a nerd. Is that what it is, man? You, you call me a nerd, Lucy? I love you. You're a good girl. Okay, so Lucy, let me show you what we got over here. Now, this is a computer game. Oh, Ed's trying to bite me. He's, he's trying to bite me. So let me show you, Lucy. This is a computer gaming setup right over here. Look at this. That right there. That, that glowing thing. Computer. Minecraft. Oh, and you're looking at the camera. So, anyways, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in there. I have a liquid cooled, the CPU cooler. I also have a four core processor, a ton of SSDs. One SSD, another SSD, another one. And then I think there's actually another one built inside of it too. So tons of SSDs, so I always have storage for videos and so on. I prefer SSDs, especially for your operating system so your computer just pretty much turns on quicker. So that's how I see it, man. But that's about it. I even have an M.2, one of like the fastest SSDs, just for the processor. So whenever I turn on my computer, it's instant. So this is what I'm running. Pretty simple stuff, man. I'm just gonna link the specs down below in the description because you know going all detailed about that kind of stuff is not gonna help. Let's just kind of see it in the description and then you click it and you figure out what you want. My opinion about computers, like I said, if you're doing Minecraft, you don't need crazy RAM, you don't need crazy like specs 
All you need is a very simple graphics card. So what I would recommend is go for like, let's say a 1060 GTX, Nvidia GTX 1060 graphics card. And then for RAM, definitely go 60 gigabytes or above. Lucy, what are you doing there? What are you, what are you doing, Lucy? All right, and then for the power supply, go for I think like 500 watts or something higher than that. Um, and then for the processor, four cores is good. If you're editing, try to go for six or eight. Now, if you're just starting out your gaming setup, stick with four cores and then slowly upgrade the processor. Now make sure your motherboard is also key. Like motherboard, I always try to go in between for maxing out the motherboard. Like I don't wanna make it be too expensive, because there are some very expensive motherboards that go up to like $600, but motherboard is like the basis of the computer. So you wanna stick to a pretty good motherboard that can handle a lot of future upgrades if you do plan on upgrading. So for example, my motherboard, can handle 64 gigabytes of RAM. Some motherboards, if you wanna go past, like let's say 16 to 32, they don't handle it. So make sure you figure out your specs, you get the details from a professional, or you look online, you research it, go for a motherboard that supports upgrades. So for example, uh, more processors, like more cores for a, a processor, an Intel processor, even graphics card, even RAM. So that's all I gotta say, man. I'm not a computer genius, I just know like what kind of parts to buy. That's pretty much about it. So I'll link down below in the description what I have my computer parts. And that's it for the zoom, I'm pretty sure. Now, for my face cam, a lot of people, I see them using, let's say, different types of backgrounds. I like just a simple white background over here. It makes the videos look more clean, and then the shadow's on point. That's about it. So, oh man, let me, let me tell you my little story about headphones. Before I got these headphones, I bought about 10 headphones. Now, same thing with a chair. It will hurt your back when you're on it a long time. Now, if you have headphones on for a very long time, it's going to start fatiguing you and hurting your head too. So... What I decided to do, buy these headphones, and for my head size, it's perfect. It doesn't fatigue me, it's comfortable. I also can hear myself. I don't like when like headphones, you know, soundproof, because then it kind of throws off my commentary for some reason. I don't know, I'm just weird. I'm a weird dude, so that's what happens, but when I can actually hear myself talking, uh, then I'm good. So, this is what I use. Like I said, they're pretty cheap, they're comfortable. You can wear them for a very long time, and they're effective, and they sound pretty good. And you have like all this controller stuff right here. You have, uh, 7.1 surround, all these kind of things. And it does come with actually a microphone. And you can actually use this for Xbox, PS, uh, PS4, and other things. But this is what I use, man. It's pretty simple. Now my mice or mouse, I have the Corsair KG60. I don't remember the name. It's a very nice, uh, very nice mouse. You have this button over here for like snapping in games. I'm not really like all complex with that. I just keep it simple. Now keyboard. I think keyboard is key for typing quickly, man. So I have the Razer Black Widow. I think it's V2. Not too sure. I'll link it down in the description. But as you can see, it's like, it sounds good. It's not too loud. But whenever I, I click, it's a very good, you know, like feedback. So this is what I use. It also like, you know, it's, it's got rainbow lights. So it's pretty dope. <laughs> that's pretty much about it, man. There's nothing, nothing too crazy about that stuff, but that's about it, man. So let's head over to Ariel's room right now. We're gonna go to Ariel's room and I'm gonna show you guys my camera setup. So we have a ton of other cameras, lenses, and other cool things. So let's head over to Ariel's room. You'll see you come with me. You come with me. You wanna go? Let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. All right, so we are in Ariel's room. There's my boy Ariel. We got Lucy in the room too. And I'm gonna show you what we got in this crazy messy room. Now, this room, I will say it's very, very messy. So, yeah. It's not messy. It's this messy. Your room mine. is always messy. This is not mine. All right, it's it's partially this yours. This is mine. Very this is still very messy. What is this? It's not messy. I don't even know what's going on. I'll explain to you everything that's going on. Okay, we got a monitor, a monitor, and a monitor, and a keyboard. Most of the stuff here was my old gaming setup before I went all crazy and upgraded. So this is actually what I had beforehand. Uh, we had a very simple desk, an up desk. You can control all these cool things over here. Now, damn, bringing this from Texas was a pain, man. We have the same mixer for here. Connects to this thing over here. Very simple, basic microphone. Which you got the road me. stand. This, yeah. This microphone falls on me. Oh, Problem with right. this setup, it's like this. So, as you can see, it's a flaw. It's a design flaw. So this thing always slips off and falls on. Ariel been recording. <laughs> Feel bad for you, man. Now, let me explain. So Ariel, before he actually did all the managing and stuff, he did a lot of editing for people. And he was like a professional editor. So let me tell you what, what we got going on over here. Now, this computer is the definition of a rendering and editing computer. So what I have is a gaming computer. This right here is for rendering and editing. So let's say you're working with 3D graphics, you're working with rendering files and models and that kind of stuff, and also editing. That computer is key to anything, man. So how many cores do you have? 10. That one simple processor in there is like what? Like 1,500 bucks? 
more. Is it? So it's, it's, a, it's like a... Before it used to be, I think, like $2,000 processor inside of there. Last year it was like $2,500. Yeah. But down. with this computer, the graphics card is not the best. It's just a GTX 1070. It's still a great graphics card, but it's not intense for gaming. So all he really cool. needs... Yeah, exactly. And it's water cooled. So this way it's not too loud. But pretty much, graphics card helps with basic games. Like Minecraft, I mean anything can run Minecraft. Um, this computer has trouble yeah. with that, actually. Here's the, here's the thing that I realized. So when you have when you play Minecraft, if you have like a high-end gaming computer, there's always problems. Versus like a basic computer that doesn't have high-end specs. I don't know. It's like, oh, let's well, put the most expensive graphics card in this computer setup. And then Minecraft's like, nope, not having it. I'm like, come on, man. It's so simple, bro. But like I said, basic graphics card, insane processor. Yo, as you can see, the cooling is key, man. He's got so many fans in here, so this thing does not overheat. And that's about it, man. That's about it. You got tons of RAM. That's about it. So, these are the models I was talking about. These are the Asus RG Swift original ones that I had. Now, they are 144 hertz, overclocked to 165. And it's a triple gaming monitor setup. It's huge. It's huge. I had this before. It was too much for me. And same keyboard, different mouse. It's actually the mouse that I used to have before. Very nice mouse. It's very responsive and it's comfortable too. So, this right here, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you one of our editing computers that we're trying to build. All right, this computer, it works barely. <laughs> you know, it's functional, it's got expensive parts. I think it's a 1080, right? It is a 1080. That's a 1080 Ti as well, yeah. But let me tell you, <sighs> I'll be honest with you, I'm not trying to dissonate any companies, but I personally don't like AMD. I started with AMD. AMD processors versus Intel processors. I much pr rather prefer, prefer Intel processors. They're less buggy. They don't run super hot, and they work. That's how I see it. So, I'm not gonna be buying another AMD processor. I just have very bad experience with them, and they never work correctly. I don't know, that's just how it is. So, I'll stick to Intel. This is an AMD computer with an NVIDIA graphics card. Maybe we did something wrong when we were building it, but we didn't even build it. We had the store people build it for us. So, I hate the processor so much. If you're buying a computer, just figure out what you really want. If you wanna go for full AMD or Intel, because um, once, you, once you choose it, you can't go back. So, it's got an AMD motherboard, and an AMD, uh, AMD processor. So let's say you want Intel, that's what we have. You can't put it on an AMD processor, it won't fit. So underneath this thing is an actual socket where the processor goes to. So that's how it is. Some people that are like, you know, more technical with computers, they'll understand. Um, this is a printer. Uh, I don't think you ever use it. I, uh, no, I didn't use it. <laughs> we just have a printer because everyone needs one usually. I don't know, it's, it's crazy, man. We're getting old for this stuff. Not set up yet, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, now let me show you this mess. This is the computer, I mean, this is the portable camera setup slash studio camera stuff. We don't even know what's going on anymore. We just bought everything we could that would help us out with future stuff. So, in these bags, let me show what we got. The drone setup, man. If you're a vlogger, and if you like computers and stuff and technology, I recommend a drone, we love drones. I mean, <laughs> we don't use it that much, but it definitely does give like a very nice feel in videos. It's a good, it's a good way to have it's a good way to do this, for example. Let's say, in our videos, as you guys sometimes might notice, drone footage is key for transitions. A lot of people use it, Casey Neistat, and other people as well. We use drone footage for transitions, so we always just go outside in the city, in Miami or stuff, or other places. We take a bunch of drone footage, and then we'll use it as transitions in a video, which just sets the theme in a way. And it, and it just, it's fun to watch, you know what I mean? Like you just have a flying, like a flying little machine, just taking videos of this beautiful city. So, that's how I see it, man. We have the DJI Phantom 4 Pro, right? Yeah. And we got a ton of batteries, because these drones only last like, maybe like 20 minutes max. Well, 20 to 30 minutes. So, we got tons of backup batteries. Um, now, these are the big ones. It's very high quality. It's not that portable. As you can see, it's just a massive backpack, and it's heavy. Um, and then you also need an iPad to turn it on. But it's super dope. We like it. In the future, we might go for a DJI Mavic Pro, which is going to be a more portable, but less high quality drone. But it's portable, like I said. Because <laughs> usually you can't bring this stuff on the plane. Well, you can, but... Let me tell you, it's a disaster, man. We <laughs> We're always stopped. We always get stopped. Um, that's about it, right? And then this stuff contains all this insane equipment for vlogging. And if, for the people that want to watch the stuff for vlogging, figure out vlogging setups, we're going to show you right now. <laughs> the ugliest backpack color ever. I hate this color. <laughs> we got it thinking it was going to be black. That's how it was advertised on Amazon. And it turned out to be this weird green color, so we bought another one. That's, there you go. It looks better. It's such a weird color, right? I don't even know what this is, man. I don't know. Yo, what, comment down below, what's your favorite color? All right, let's open this thing up. So, let me show you. It's actually, this camera bag, I would also highly recommend if you're, if you have a crazy vlogging setup. It's an in-case, I think it's like a 
what is this, what is it, like a professional camera backpack? It's on Amazon, I'll link it down below in the description. And this is for actually a tripod or other things. Now check this out, if you go to the back of it, you flip these up like this, all right? And you do this, and then you open this back, this pack, back part over here, it's a zipper, you actually open a camera storage bag. Boom, baby, check this out. Now in here, we have an extremely professional studio microphone XLR setup for DSLRs. So this is what we use when we do like challenges and stuff. It's pretty high quality, but let me tell you, man, audio difference between this camera, you know, this camera's microphone, and that crazy DSLR camera, I mean, that DSLR microphone is like, you can't tell. You really can't tell. So it's what it is, man. Like, the more money you'll spend, you'll get like a little, little, tiny, tiny, little bit of a difference. Same thing with cameras, too. So I don't know, man. I mean, we don't use it anymore. It's just too big. It's too complicated. Um, but whenever we come to using it, we use it. Uh, and then we also have the Rode Video Microphone. This is the first microphone that we bought from the DSLR. It was good. It's expensive. It's kind of thick, I guess. And we don't like it that much. We don't think the quality is the best. So we stick to our sure one that we have. Uh, so we don't use this. We don't use this. Just back backup in general. So always get that backup. These are the GoPro charging chargers. Uh, we have tons and tons of GoPros and tons of batteries because batteries is key. These cameras, especially this camera that I'm currently using, they die instantly. So we always have backup. And then over here, we have a bunch of batteries and stuff. So not too interesting, man. But let me show you the other bags. Oh, man. What even is this? What is it? What's even in here? Oh, it's heavy. Uh, GoPro bag. This is a GoPro bag? Yeah. So, like I said, tons of GoPro batteries. Tons of stands. We have like five GoPros. So whenever we're doing cool car footage, we'll use GoPros. And you can also control them from your phone. These are the GoPro Hero 5s. Everyone knows more about this, you know, camera stuff. Um, and this is nothing here. Drill. No, 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 no. Okay, pulling this back. And extra bag for other things that we haven't used yet. So, that's about it. By the way, where's you know what is that? drills for? What? When I get stuck in here, because I gotta get out. You didn't show that part. Oh, there. I didn't show you. So, we're in an expensive apartment. There's design flaws. So, uh, design flaw for this place, the door does not lock. Actually, a lot, but the handle doesn't work. Look. It works on that side. That side it works, but not here, look. <laughs> so once you close this, you're stuck here, and everyone needs to use the knives to get out. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should yeah, probably have it fixed. I fixed it, though. We used Lucy's uh, lint rollers, and we uh, made a solution. This man right here, this man right here, Robotics genius. Robotics genius. He can build you a robot that flies you to space. That's not how that works. He's a nerd. Make me a robot that gets me food all the time. I'm not gonna do that for you. I could, but I'm not going to. <sighs> what are friends for, man? What are friends for? Almost forgot, dude. This right here is our external camera setup. I think we have two Canon 80Ds. So this used to be, actually no, this is the Canon 80D we used to use for pictures. Um, like I told you guys before, Canon 80D, great camera. I don't recommend it. From from my preference, I don't recommend it. The quality is not the best. I just don't like the uh, night light. I don't know, what is it called? Night light? What is it? Night light. Yeah. I guess what it's called. So pretty much, guys, with these DSLR cameras, one thing you'll notice when you're filming at nighttime, you can't see anything at all. So now with this camera that I'm currently using right now, this is the Sony RX100. The, when you film at nighttime, you can see everything. It's very clear. Now with the Canon 80D, you can't see nothing. <laughs> Unless you like change all the specific settings. A lot of now grain. with the yeah, and then there's also a lot of grain. That's what, that's the thing I don't like about the 80D. It's a lot of grain. The focus is not the best, and it's very low quality. Depends on the lens that you have. If you're gonna buy this DSLR, go for the GH5 or just stick to the 80D, which is a lot cheaper. So it's up to your preference, man. But lenses do make a big difference. This is Iron Man. This is Iron Man lens. Uh huh. This is actually the 80D lens. That's what we used to use before. Now for filming videos on a DSLR. Um, the tip that we'll give you guys is use lenses that are wide. So wide lenses are key. So we always use like 35, like 15 to 35 for the lenses. That's what we use. This is not a good example because it goes up to 135. But the one that I have for my actual GH5 in my room, that one is a wide lens. So whenever we're filming, you have just a, it's like a fish eyes and it's like a fish eye lens. So you have a ton more space to show off. So throwback. Hey, throwback. How do I open this thing? No, 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 don't do that. What? We don't trust these windows. <laughs> How does it go out? Uh, I don't know, but we're missing that. Yeah, we're missing this. I feel like one day, if we open this, it's just gonna all fall down. No, and, like, it, hit a it car. opens. Nathan opened it once. Yeah, it's sketchy. We're just gonna leave this out, but I wanna throw that camera away. I mean, it's good memories. Not really. <sighs> Cause a lot of problems. Let me tell you, 
Let me tell focus. you. You can never get the shot. I can tell you like, yo guys, look, it's a Lamborghini Huracan ripping it. And then I see, you know, it's like, oh, no, all right, man. And then he was passed by, you know, 20 seconds without focusing. Well, this camera's like, oh my God, it's a Lamborghini. Oh, wait, hey, Ferrari right over there. Hey, Ferrari. Then we have a Rolls Royce right there. Another Rolls Royce. <laughs> All right, so let's show off Shark's gaming setup. He's also got a ton of my other computer setups stuff from before. And we're gonna show you what we got. What are you doing? I don't, I, what? Your arms are here, but your legs are there. What are you doing? Are you stuck? Lucy, are you stuck? She's stuck, isn't she? Lucy, there you go, but. Yeah, I got you. Hey, there you go. You're not stuck anymore. I love you, baby girl. Good girl. TV. So Sharks Gaming set up right over here. Let me show you what we got going on. Basic lights. This is actually, oh, this is what I'm talking about over here. So check out this lens. It's the Canon 80D with our old lens. And let me show you what we got. Oh, I almost broke this microphone. My bad. My bad. So this is the Canon 80D with an EFS. 10-22 millimeter lens. It's a wide lens. You can get the you can get, you can get like a very nice picture of things around you. So this is what we use. Um, and this is the basic, very simple uh, tripod. Same mixer that we all use. Very high quality mixer. He's got basic microphones. Same stand. Best stand that I've ever used. It's expensive, but it's effective, and you never have to replace it. So it's a hundred dollar stand. Before I had about four like $20 microphone stands that would always constantly blur, break. And then after a few years, it would add up. So I just kind of said, you know what? Just go all out. This is what we got. It's reliable, it doesn't break. Awesome. So the microphone, he has a blue spark, okay? And same thing, XLR setup. Goes into here, make audio sound good. These are the new Razer keyboards and the, the mice or the mouse. And also this, where's my battery? Taking this battery with me, thank you. All right, and Razer headphones. This is, a, this is the Joby. Um, the Gorilla, oh, Gorilla. <laughs> the Joby pod for DSLRs, it's metal, doesn't break. One problem that I had is when I had um, like tripods beforehand, like these kind of tripods, the, the flexible ones, these parts would always pop out. So we bought this metal one and it's extremely, extremely reliable and it mounts DSLRs like it's nothing. So we, that's what we use for a lot of things. There we go, and that's about it, man. Oh, this is also my very first computer that I started with. Very basic computer, not too crazy with the specs, and it works for Minecraft. It was about, like, I think, $1,000, and then we slowly upgraded it. But that's what we use, this is what Shark uses right now for recordings and stuff. That's about it, man. So let me show you one more cool thing that we have in the apartment. Well, actually, like, a couple more things, but check this out. So before I, when I was living on my own, I used to actually use these things for transportation. I know it seems kind of crazy, but it's nice to get around places. Now, if you guys didn't know this, this is the Boosted Board V2. Casey Neistat uses this. A lot of other YouTubers use it. That's the Evolution All-Terrain Board. It's fully carbon fiber. It's GT as well. Very fast, 30 miles per hour. It carves. You can do some crazy things. You can go off-roading. Got two motors, long-lasting battery. So I, I prefer this over the Boosted Board, but the Boosted Board is more portable. So faster, long-lasting, portable, Easy to carry. And this is the one wheel. So with the one wheel, you actually balance on one wheel. It goes pretty fast. It's cool, but it's not really that usable. So that's about it. And by the way, I just purchased a go-kart. I know, Moose, what did you say? I'm, I'm, what? Yes, yeah, so we just purchased an electric go-kart. It goes like 20 miles per hour, and it's a drift go-kart. It's like one of those like razor drift go-karts. So I'm gonna have a video on that very, very soon when my boy Shark Boy comes down on March 7th. So it's gonna be here on March 6th, I believe. It's gonna come in a massive crate. We're gonna make a video for that, so make sure you leave a look at that video and get excited because it's gonna be crazy, man. We're just gonna go drifting around the apartment, around the penthouse. It's gonna be super dope. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this Life of Moose video. I hope you guys all did enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe and stop that bell for some more Life of Moose videos. And come back tomorrow for another one, man. We're gonna try to make another video for tomorrow, so get excited for that. And we're trying our best to get back into daily vlogging. Well, not daily vlogging, but posting about maximum five videos a week up to six so five to six videos a week we're gonna try our best i know you guys have been constantly asking moose we want to see your lifestyle we want to see the crazy life moose vlogs so we're gonna try to bring it back and then by summertime i want to go up to daily vlogging as well and we'll have also more people in the, in the house we're actually we're planning on getting a house right now um it's it's a very long process but once we get the house we're gonna have an actual vlogging house with a ton of youtube content creators it's gonna be insane man like i'll show you guys i don't want to show you guys previews just yet i do have a bunch of videos for it all right, here's a little sneak peek of it. Just a little tiny sneak peek. You walk in, massive doors, you walk in, and then boom, it's like paradise. So anyways, once we get the vlogging house, the content is gonna be on point, man. We're gonna have more content creators, more YouTubers doing crazy things. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyways, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Follow the social media and buy some moose merchandise down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.